Right, so when I was on the street, I didn't learn much positive things, but there's a few things that I've learned that I always kind of stick by a few, a few principles, or at least try and stick by. One of them, one of the older guys in the area said, don't back no one that don't back themselves. Now, it's so true because you could see a situation where someone is getting abused or bullied and they're not standing up for themselves. And you go over there and you tear off your shirt and you're your big S Superman and go and save them. And you might come off worse than them. It's happened before. People have gone to go and defend people that they don't know and they come off worse. They might have died or at least been beaten up or something like that. Now, 90% of the time that won't happen. But don't you dare be that 10%. Don't back no one that don't back themselves. Now, obviously, you use your discretion, you draw your you draw the line somewhere, right? So if you see like some 13-year-old child getting abused and harassed by some random person that they don't know, or even if the person knows, especially if they don't know them, then yeah, if you think you can handle it, then yeah, go over there and handle it. But if you think you can't handle it, if you think that person is too wild, don't don't get involved. Because that person will walk away scot-free and tell the story and say, yeah, this person, this man or this woman came to save me. But they, but, but they were murdered or they got beaten up whilst I walked, walked away scot-free. Don't be that person. You know, this is a, 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 a tricky one as well. If I see a guy abusing his missus on the street, right, I would be stalling. I would hesitate to go over and defend that woman because that's not the first time he's acted that way with that woman, right? So... I couldn't imagine, like, let's say he hit her, right? Let's let's say he did that, right? Now, my first reaction would be to, you know, say something like, yo, what are you doing? But, or, you know, maybe get more physical than just, just, just say, yo, what are you doing? But that's not the first time that that's happened, right? And obviously, she's still with him. So therefore, she's still making that same mistake. So you're going to go over there. If you're a man or a woman and go and defend that woman, right? You might get your ass beat or whatever. But she's going to, whatever outcome it is, she's going to go back to him, right? Because that's not going to be the first time that that's happened. But if I'm in the street and I see a random woman being harassed by a random guy, yeah, yeah, I'll step in any day. Because the thing is as well, where, where, where it gets dangerous with the man and the woman who are together is he believes he owns her. He believes that's his property. So imagine you're, you're outside, imagine you go and you damage someone's car, right? Plus is going to want to rip your head off, right? It's the same thing. He believes he owns this woman. So you're, you're interfering with his property. That's where the danger sets in. But yeah, if it's a random woman and some random guy, yeah, I'll, I'll get involved all day long because she doesn't, he, he, there, 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 there's no emotions there. There's no attachment there, yeah? So, but just pick your situations as well. Don't go out there and try and play, play Superman or Superwoman or any type of fool or like that because you could come off worse. Now, another thing that I've learned on the street is don't trust anyone because people will talk about you behind your back like everyone acts like they're cool with you yeah 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 but trust me i never realized it until i went to work and especially with men as well men are flip men are worse than women men love to gossip and talk about other men behind their back and i just thought like wow i'm the youngest person in the workplace when i first started work years and years ago i was 19 and i was like flipping out this is worse than being at school People just talk about people behind their back. I've had people, right? Like, let's say it's three of us, myself and two other people, right? We're talking, everyone's all laughing, and then that third person leaves, and it's just myself and that person, and like, oh, I don't really like him, I hate him. I'm like, Rah. that's how you talk about someone who's just left the room. I went to a child's birthday party once before, right? And it was a small gathering, it was just a few people in the house, right? No more than a body count of 12 people, yeah? I've walked in the house, right? And the, it was just women there as well. They were all in a cluster, talking, talking, talking. They were like, yeah, she's this, she's that. Oh, I can't stand her, blah, blah, blah. This is the person whose house it was as well. So I sat down now. I'm reading the situation. And I said, like, oh, excuse me. Was the woman just here? And they said, yes. I was like, wow, that's, that's how you go on. So someone was just in your house and you're going to go and slag them off behind their back. That's what people are like. I know we like to think people are not like that, right? But you need to lose the um, naivety because pe people will talk about you behind your back, whether or not you, you are doing good or you are doing bad. Remember that, that 
that's that's my mantra from now on. Whatever you do, no matter what you do, good or bad, people always have something good and bad to say about it. That's my mantra. I might even leave that in the description of this video. And one of the last things I've learned as well off the street, which is kind of a good thing, is keep your mouth shut. Don't, don't, I'm not talking about not snitching to the police. I mean, just don't snitch on yourself. Right? I'll give you a good situation. I was working as an electrical tester. That's, that's my profession. So I go and test other electricians' work. And got to the job now. Worked Friday, Saturday. And I love to work Sundays as well, because obviously you get like overtime rates. So I worked on the Sunday, yeah? And the amount of money that got put into my account was ridiculous. So I'm reading this paycheck, right? And I'm thinking, why have they paid me so much? Like, so like, I, I get, I, uh, it depends on where I work, right? Averagely, I get about 24, 25 pounds per hour, yeah? Um, sometimes as little as 22, and the highest I think I got as a standard basic weight was 28, right? So this job was £25.50 per hour. And on Sunday, they pay the operatives um, double pay, right? So they pay me £25 per hour, let's say for a 10-hour shift. Let's make the numbers easy, yeah? So on Sunday, the supervisor is supposed to put double the hours, which would, which is same as getting double pay, yeah? So... If I'm working for £25 per hour at a 10 hour rate, right? But then instead of paying me 10 hours, he pays me double the amount of hours. So it's 20 hours, right? So that's going to be £500. So I was entitled to £500 for that one shift, right? Let's say, yeah. It actually was 450 but let's just use £500, right? So I was entitled to £500, right? But what happened was they messed it up. The agency pays operatives double pay so they don't pay you 25 pounds per hour and give you double the hours they just give you your normal set of hours which is 10 hours and they give you 50 pounds per hour so my standard rate on a sunday was 50 pounds per hour right 50 pounds per hour so instead of paying me a 10 hour shift which would be 500 pounds my supervisor put in 20 hours so i got paid a grand it was really 900, but I'm just using a thousand pounds to make it easier. So I based, so I got paid 900 pounds. Now I saw that and the roll thing kicked in again. Yeah. I didn't say nothing because I don't know if they made a mistake or not. Right. But I'm not going to find out whether or not they made a mistake or not. I'm just not going to say nothing. So boom. So it happened again the week after. Didn't say nothing. Maybe they made a mistake, maybe they didn't, but I'm not going to find out. So we always talk about wages and stuff. And there was one guy who was just, ah, I don't want to use the B word, but acting like a girl and stuff. Oh, because we were getting paid more than him. But you signed up for a nine hour shift at £24 per hour, right? And then new guys will come and they're earning £25 per hour and get paid 10 hour shift, right? That's up to you. Sorry, unfortunately, that's the way the world works, you know? So anyway, he was moaning stuff. So we were talking about wages, some of the other guys. So there was one guy that came on the same agency as myself, 25 pounds per hour at a 10 hour shift. And he said, hey, hey, Jay, um, I, they paid me like double pay, you know? And I was like, what do you mean? And he showed me and this, they made this quote unquote, the same mistake. If this is a mistake, I don't know, right? So he told me that. And then I think someone else heard, and it was like, oh, how come, you know, you guys are getting paid so much and stuff? And I was like, for flip's sake, man. Now, obviously, I'm black. This guy, old white man, like 56 or whatever. He don't know the cold of the road, right? He don't know, keep your mouth shut, right? Listen, if you're ever getting paid extra, don't say anything. Don't even find out whether or not it's a mistake. Just don't say nothing. He's here blabbering mouth, and I thought, this guy's a flipping idiot. I wouldn't even tell my colleague. The only time I'll probably say, no, I wouldn't even say nothing anyway. I wouldn't even tell no one when I've left because then they might try and backlog it and try to take the money from me. So, no, I'm not finding out whether or not they made a mistake. I'm just not going to say nothing. I can't believe the guy was going around telling people that he's been paid extra. What, obviously, you know, that kind of talk there will go back to the agency or, or supervisor and stuff. And then they might try and claim the money back, try to dock you your wages. So stupid. Keep your mouth closed. Don't snitch on yourself. Now don't now don't you dare watch this and think, yeah, I'm gonna go out and do crime. I'm not saying that. Don't try and use me in the police interview and say, oh, JY said this. No, 
I'm not saying to go out and do crime or anything like that, right? But just in general, just keep your mouth shut, right? Just keep your mouth closed. Don't snitch on yourself. Bloody idiot going around telling people at work that he got paid double the pay when it was at a double rate. Oh, I can't believe some of these people, man. Yeah, you're happy. Just keep your happiness to yourself. Go and, you know, go and save the money. I don't know. Go on a holiday or something. But don't say nothing, yeah? <sighs> right. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.